All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is, the undefeated Israel Adesanya, his crowning achievement, at least to this point in time, UFC 236, a monumental, unanimous decision win over Kelvin Gastelum in what was one of the best title fights you or I have ever seen. One of the greatest fights of all time. And to watch Israel Adesanya go out in round five, when the fight is on the line and have his very best round of the fight was inspiring for anyone that likes mixed martial arts. If you're a fan of a young guy like Israel, to see him do that, to earn that title, is very, very assuring as he's getting ready to go forward in his career. To achieve that goal in such a short amount of time is truly, truly unheard of. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Oslo, Norway, Jack the Joker Hermansson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. Double jab. Good takedown defense by Israel. Big punch from the clinch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. An effective punch there by Adesanya. 
Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. How good is that right hand? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual thing. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Pretty good right hand. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, an obvious link there. His leg hurting for certain. Oh, that's a nice strike. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Takedown defense holds up. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Israel Adesanya's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys would evenly match. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Oh, that's a good strike there by Adesanya. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. And he caught the kick. Right hand landed. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination when you walk out to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Adesanya. And they separate. Liver kick. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, single collar tie here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. 
over and over, he's landed with a big body kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Potentially working on a leg attack here, DC. It looks like he's attacking a heel hook. Oh! Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell, so back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. Moving the adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. And they separate. Ooh, blocks the shot. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Whoa! Oh! 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 oh no! Oh, big left hook there, and that will do it. Oh! <laughs> Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. He's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 54 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Israel, the last contender of the sun. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you do it. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public, to 